All right, here we go. Thursday again, Cornish Monday. I've had a quick look through in, but uh, well, it's all right. We still we still enjoy the Cornish one a little bit. There's a bit of news and all in there, but I mean, it's been a sad times since last week, hasn't it? You know, for all of us, really. I mean, one way or another, you know, it's uh, having been brought up with the, just her majesty the queen at all times so as a mark of respect um on monday next monday i shan't be doing anything on you know no stories or anything so uh, if the lord to spare me i hopefully be here next thursday but just stay safe and it's going to be all right we got our injections on saturday so that's nice one in each arm i suppose but uh, i mean winter's coming in but it don't matter do it it's just part of cycle of life keep going keep smiling that's all i can say God save the king. Anyhow, I've got a few birthdays here today, so I'm going to rattle through them quick as I can. Mary Mills. Happy birthday to him, mate. Have a nice day. Gail Smiley. It's another one. A friend of mine. Just have a lovely day, both of you. Both of you. Richard Myler. No, Richard, you have a nice day as well, boy. And just, uh, well, enjoy. Just enjoy everything. Now I've got a, a favourite of mine. A favourite, well, my, I say my niece, really. Ven Smitherham. I don't know, I think she's gone 21, but happy birthday to Yvain. And um, we got cardio for it, but I, I haven't had a chance to get down, I'm so sorry. But it'll it'll do for next year now. And then another a great favourite friend of mine, and well, a real deep friend of mine is Mike Robbins down there, down down the bottom here. Um, happy birthday to him, Mike. Just uh, take it easy today. Enjoy, you know, enjoy every, every everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, now, the story I'm going to do today is another Herbert Lean one. It's called The Village Concert. Shove up bit mad, Lizzie. Some art in here. I done some pack of wash and for I for I had tea, my back is ek and, and all dry too. And all dry too is. I know there will be some crowd here. Only collection coming in. Who's taking the chair? Do we know? Oh, Mr. Treepole, I believe. What he he wouldn't give much, I dunno. Father, put out put away your pipe. Aren't loud smoking here. They all oil lamps will do all the smoking. I'm so glad I'm early, for I do dearly love a good seat. All is nearly full now. Where's your boy, Richard Henry? Well, he left home before we did. He's telling a recitation tonight. Done some good job when this afternoon. Hark, shut us up. Tis now going begin. Stop scratching, feather. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to see so many of you in here tonight. A voice in the back said, don't miss much, you don't. Chairman, speak up at the back, please. I can't hear you. Same voice. Oh, we're very glad to see you, sir. Chairman again. Thank you. And now, by way of a change, you shall choose your own opening. We want a good start. Speak up. Who will be the next? Number 94 called out the village barber, who was sitting in the front row and had lately been ignored because he had raised the price of Shevin. No, no, shouted the man at the back. Sit down, sit down. Up. Jump, Mr. Meek, and what and had what Tom Tiddley Wink called a peppermint in his speech. He started fee fee fee. This was received with loud cheers as it dawned on them. He meant fight the good fight, for only last night he had knocked down Jan and Ear, who had been beating up his wife and little child. The opening him fight the good fight went well. Everybody joined in, even Mrs. James, who had come in late to avoid the collection at the door. Chairman, the first item on the programme is a mouse organ solo by Mr. James Trenown. Loud cheers by the audience, as he was always a favourite at every concert. James jumped up on the platform and shouted, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. There was a commotion at the back. The door was opened and Daisy Treglown, who had fainted, was carried out. James had been seen walking with her after chapel for several Sundays. Come on, join in the chorus, shouted James, and if anyone has heard the hearty sing of the Cornish people, they will understand how this old favourite song was sung by everyone in the hall. Chairman, now, that was well rendered. Thank you, James. Now, let me see. The next will be a recitation by one who was very well known to you all, Richard Henry. Up come Richard Henry with his recitation in his hand and gave to the chairman in case he forgot his words. The chairman took the folded piece of paper and thought it was something for him to read. He put on his glasses and read to the audience, Gone down Aunt Liz's, give the cat drop milk. Shan't be long. Oh, I am very sorry, my mistake. Now, Richard Henry, what is the title of your little piece? Tidno little piece got four verses. 
Chairman, all right, all right, what is the title? Little ship go sailing by. And through the four verses rush Richard Henry where to stop. Never missed a word, including the end at the finish. You lost your sixpence, feather. Pay up. Boy didn't miss a word. Chairman, now we have to have a change. Uncle Tobias will sing Grandfather's Clock. But old Uncle Tobias had a bad cold and no one could hear him. He had sung this song at every concert for the last 15 years, but he always put half a salmon on the collection box. The audience, who was half who had heard it so often, sang it instead. Chairman again. We've had quite a variety tonight. Miss B. Near will favour us with a t song entitled Give Me the Wings of a Dove. While the artist was getting her music, one could hear the remarks at the back of the wall. She, she's no dove, but she may have come out of the ark. she been courting nigh on twelve years. Tis said she went be married in chapel, and he went go to the altar in the church. she been near, but not near enough. Chairman, order please, order. Miss Near sang her song in a very low, deep voice that was received with loud clapping. She was really had a lovely contralto voice, and they all enjoyed her singing. Feather said afterwards, if she went down much further, she'd have to have a ladder to get up again. Chairman, where's Mr. Trengove? I have not seen him in this evening. He's on the program for a step dance. Mrs. Trengove arose in the orders and shouted, he's working late and he won't be here. Loud laughing was heard all over the hall, as he had never been known to work since he was married. Too tired to take his boots off when he got in bed. Community singing followed until the windows had to be opened, for the hall got so hot, something had to be done. This made all the oil lamps smoke more than ever, until it was impossible to see across the room. Feather said you couldn't see your hand behind your back. So the chairman thanked all who had helped to make the concert such a success. The man at the table in the back of the hall announced that the collection was in aid of the proceeds and amounted to five pounds, five shillings and three buttons. Mother was heard to remark as she pushed through the crowd some handsome concert and everything went off without a hitch. Take care and have a nice weekend.